Hello one, this is Graphic Love or the Tutorial Modeler. And today I have a quick um, box, not, not box review, post build review, post build thoughts about the Edwards uh, Weekend Edition MiG 21 BSD, which is uh, model number 84130. Uh, it's the box right here. I got, I got the box, right? Like this one, right? I can't show it, it's way too big. But but you get you, you know which marking this is. Anyway, uh, what are my thoughts about the kit? Well, it's a MiG twenty one BCD. Edward has been making this for the last I don't know I believe 10, 15 years at this point. I don't think I have to talk about the kit itself. It's a well built kit. You don't have to fill any holes. Perhaps some on the wing roots, but that's about it. Uh, what I do have to mention are the decal options or the decal options. Uh, you actually get uh, quite a number of them for the weekend edition. You get this one, which is for the 25th anniversary of the Croatian Air Force and uh, anti air uh, defense, uh, the classic Soviet one, a Finnish one, and also a Italian, I believe. No, it's an Indian one. I apologize. But that's about it, what I have to say about the kit for now. Because I actually built this model before. I built this back in 2020 or 2019 actually. Uh, when Edward released their Around the World edition. Uh, it's a limited edition model kit. Uh, and it features, I actually reviewed this on my channel, uh, a box review. Uh, and it featured uh, the same plane, the same marking actually. Uh, wait, it's uh, this one, right? right. Um, so you'd think that it'd be the same build. Uh, but looking at the planes, uh, except that this one's a bit more dusty, you can actually see quite a noticeable difference. Um, not sure if you've seen it already or not, but the main difference are the decals or the decals I want to call them. Here they are a bit dark and here they are a bit lighter. So actually kind of which one's correct? Well it turns out neither. I actually printed out how a tail of the uh, how the color works so it's really actually dark. Well at this point so this one was released before so this one was released in 2018 or 19. And this one's dark, yes, but it's not that dark. And there were actually quite a few complaints that they should actually address this issue and fix it. Uh, later on, uh, Edward in around, I believe, also 2018 and 19, re released the 1144 scale version of this kit. Right, this one right here, 4434, 36, I, I apologize. Um, and they also put in the decals. Well, and later on, again in 2021 or 2022, they released this kit. So what has changed? Well, the decals have gotten worse. Uh, as you can obviously see, um, they are almost invisible. I'm not sure what Edward has been doing, but um, j just, to, just for reference, this is how the old decal looks. So it is light, but it's it's not that light, right? It, 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 it's all right, it, it looks okay, right? This one right here, it's just, it's just ghastly. You, you can't even see, where, you can barely actually see the difference where the decal ends and the, the paint begins. It's like they, they haven't actually done anything or if they have done anything, they actually made it worse because it's almost see-through. It actually is see-through, the decal. Um, another thing to mention is that they didn't fix the default with the 25 here. So this one on the real plane is actually transparent. Um, so this is very much incorrect. Um, and I don't know what they're doing with this kit. I mean, they actually put in effort. They put in the radar uh, antenna right here, but anything else about the decals, decals seems to be worse. 
And I don't, I don't get it. I personally do not get it. Um, that one, the the one e one forty four scale kit also has the same issue with the decals being way too light. They they are actually the same shade as this one right here. So the the new one, uh, I actually put them on uh, once in uh, once, and they look so bad. I I just scraped the whole project. This one has been sitting in my box for the last uh, I don't know two years. And I'm really disappointed because they finally have a chance, you know, to repeat the same kit and to learn from the mistakes, to learn uh, because they have received a lot of criticism from our local community. I know that uh, the guys have sent them photos and uh, collect correct colors, um, but they haven't actually done anything. And um, I'm not sure how this could pass a test build these these decals because they obviously do not even slightly resemble this i mean look at this look at this it's it's nowhere near 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 that uh, near that look at this just how how do you manage to pass that off uh quality check my only and, and current and only guess how this could happen is due to the new Edward decals. So uh, the old one on the Around the World edition uh, are the classic set, classic decals, classic decals, right? Uh, and high gloss ones. And in the newer weekend edition, they are actually the uh, the new Edward uh, peel off thingies and right everything. And uh, while the peel off thing does work, the the quality is just no, it's just bad. I mean, look at it. I, I, I cannot explain to how disappointed I am with, with this right here. Um, I actually got aftermarket decals for the plane, but uh, I wanted to make it like this just to show you how it looks like. Um, if you ever decide to buy this kit, I would highly suggest to you that uh, you buy the kit, the weekend condition, and then you buy aftermarket decals for the creation version. You can get them from, I believe, Cranky Crank. He makes them uh, for the all of the bases, the, the gray bases and bis Uh Also, I believe uh, Zero uh, makes them. Uh, Zero decals, they make them or they, they did. I, I don't quote me. I know Cranky Crank Crank decals, they make them. So yeah, that's my thought about the the um, the MIG uh, MIG Bis D. Overall, a good kit. It's a classic Edward uh, MIG. You can't go wrong with them, but it's just it's just disappointing. It just really is. So yeah, uh, unfortunately, I have to send, end this on a sad note. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, kind of a post build uh, thoughts. And uh, I see you all next time. Bye-bye.